Are you looking to own a piece of a crap or you're looking to invest in the real estate market in Ghana? In a very nice and prestigious neighborhood capable enough of generating you a very high return on investment. Now let me introduce you to this three bedroom apartment complex located inside airport residential area in one of Ghana's prestigious and prime neighborhoods. So before we get started to show you what the apartment complex looks like and all the amenities that it's got, we're going to take a time and take a walk around the perimeter of the property so we get to understand what this apartment is got. But bear in mind, in this apartment you've got a swimming pool, you've got a communal gym, and you've got enough car park space for all the occupants of the property. Now on this side, which is the right wing of the property, that is where you've got the swimming pool house. Now let's take a walk around that end. Now, I'm going to show you where the communal swimming pool and gym is. And then from there, we take a walk into one of the apartments. So you get to understand practically how it looks like and what is entailed in it. On this side of the property, you have a very spacious area that you can use for car park or kids playground if you want. Pretty spacious. Now, on this end, you've got a very exquisite, executive, beautiful, lengthy swimming pool where the occupants of the apartment gets to while away time and enjoy themselves and all that if you're a fan of swimming you can swim here but otherwise just like me that i'm not a fan of swimming i just prefer to sit down there and just relax now on this side you've got your gym right but i'll show you that in a bit so here you've got a gym for the residents of this apartment complex now let's continue on tour so i get to show you some interesting things and guess what if you're able to follow through to the middle or the ending of this video I have a very good deal for you. Stick is a surprise. Here is the reception ground and we have two elevators taking us to our desired floor. On this end, you also have a staircase doing the same purpose. But for the sake of this video, we are going to get to the second floor. Bear in mind, we have a total of eight floors and a total of 24 three bedroom all and suite apartment of which I have a deal for you. At the end of the video or somewhere in the middle of the video just stick and stay whilst we go and show you how the apartment looks like so opening up this door you're ushered to a foyer area okay now on the foyer area you've got the guest bathroom right here and then you've got the guest WC right here. And then this door actually opens up to the emergency exit. Okay. And then right at this side is a door that leads you to the kitchen. Of course, I'm going to show you that in a bit. Now moving straight ahead, you are all shared into the living room area slash the dining area. Okay. Commanding a space of about 45 meters square pretty cool so this is a semi finished just to give you an idea of how we technically or practically would look like when you finish it right on this end you've got your dining space which can take about seven people more like a seven seat dining area i love every fixture and if you look at the ceiling it's pretty simple and very beautiful you can even decide to put a recess light right in there pretty cool now this door actually opens up to the kitchen space right you have a very ample pretty big kitchen space commanding an area of about 30 square meter which is pretty cool so bear in mind it is still we have some little one or two things to do to actually beautify everything we yet to put in um, kitchen appliances we need to bring in a stove and everything but all those are of course going to be done all right so you have a very beautiful um, worktop with tons of base cabinets and top cabinets 
giving you that you know enough space to store your things of course now if you look at the color combination of the kitchen cabinet the base one and the top one it's kind of like complementing itself and that's a very beautiful thing on this end you get to pull your refrigerator of course and then right here you have more like an isolated one of course very beautiful so just to say that basically you have lots of spaces in the in the kitchen um, space to store in all your kitchen um, stuff right and then you've got this door opening up to the to the back more like a, a backyard porch and on the back of the porch, you've got a door that leads you to the boys' quarters. I'm going to show you that. The boys' quarters or the helpers' quarters. So here you've got your helpers' quarters. And then it comes with its own toilets. I mean, its own WC and bathroom joined together. And that's a very beautiful thing. I mean, to have an apartment, a three-bedroom uh, three apartment with a helpers' quarters, it's pretty cool. Now, one beautiful thing that I like they did is that they centralized all the air conditioned units right here. Now, let's continue our tour. Before I forget, you have this second kitchen door that brings you back to the foyer area. We're going to pass the main one. So, you're back to the living room area again. So now let me take you on a tour inside the three bedroom area. So you have a very big eye, a very lengthy eye or maybe corridor or veranda that actually introduces you to all the three bedrooms inside this apartment. Now, this is, come, come in time, let me show you. This is one of the apartments, okay? So per the design, it is assumed that here it's a kid's bedroom. It is pretty spacious. I mean, you hardly have an apartment like this with a very spacious bedroom space like this. So the space of this room is technically about 20 square meter. And that is pretty spacious, right? You've got your inbuilt wall-to-wall -wall and floor-to-ceiling wardrobe right here. Pretty thoughtful. And this particular bedroom comes with a balcony right here. Now let's continue our tour. So I get to show you the other bedroom so technically still back on the you know the finishing part or the finishing bits kind of like presuming that it's a kid's room as well of course you can do it the way you want it so you also have the same space 20 i think this is pretty quite bigger than the first one we're coming up from this is somewhere around 22 23 square meter and that is pretty smart pretty big right now, on this area, you also have your inbuilt wardrobe space spanning from wall to wall as well as floor to ceiling, giving you that tons of storage space to put in your things. Very beautiful. Okay. This is quite cool. Right? I love this table. But just bear in mind, this is a semi-finished and then it might not necessarily come in the way you want it. Now let's continue our tour. Let me I get to show you something. Now the bedroom one and the bedroom two that I just showed you actually shares a common bathroom. All right, and here you have them. So it shares a common bathroom. So now let's continue our tour. So I get to show you the primary bedroom. So here you are all shared or brought to the primary bedroom pretty spacious quite big it commands a space of about 28 meter square or 28 square meter which is pretty big you have ample window bringing in natural daylight into the premises and on this end you realize you have this beautiful fixture kind of like beautifying the entire space i love the wallpaper on the wall it looks classic beautiful now on this side You've got your inbuilt wardrobe spanning from floor to ceiling and wall to wall as well, giving you that ample space to put in your personal belongings, your personal effect. And that's a very pretty thoughtful thing. You know, one of the things that I need you to know that you had to get an apartment like this with this kind of space right here. I mean, it's one of a kind that I actually have seen. And I think it's a very good thing. Now here, 
actually opens up to the bathroom area. Of course, you have your bathroom cubicle right here. You have your WC and of course you have a vanity basin with a LED light mirror or space where you get to put in your stuff. Now let me spike your interest. If you're looking to acquire this three bedroom apartment for investment sake or for investment purposes, it might interest you to know that a three bedroom just like this within this airport residential area right here in Ghana is going for a price of $3,500 per month for a long term rent. And for a short term rent or perhaps for an airbnb two weeks a month you're looking at renting it or you're looking at giving it out for 350 dollars per day upwards and you can run the math for a month you can run the math for a year so if you're interested just kindly contact the number that you see on your screen and get a hooping 20 percent discount for the first four people that are going to buy through doximo home this is actually an exclusive deal to us all right because we love you we're bringing you this very beautiful investment opportunity right here in ghana if this is your first time chancing upon doc small homes we're a real estate agency and a real estate company right here in ghana that are actually bringing you great properties that are up on the market for sale such as this kindly click on the red subscribe button and don't forget to smash the notification bell so you're notified anytime we post a new video and don't forget the price of the property is going to be in the description of this video thank you so much until next time, stay blessed and catch you on our next video. Peace.